Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we shall consider the concept of subtraction using two's complement method with the help of an example. So without wasting much time, let's consider the example straight away. Here the example given is M is represented in binary format which is 11010110 and we have got n which is 01000101 so these are the two numbers the task is to find its subtraction that is m minus n using two's complement so what is the method so first i'll keep m as it is then i represent minus n using two's complement method then i would add it with m so that i would get the final answer so what is the method first represent n using two's complement uh, representation so what i do is let me write the same thing represent so i'm going to represent n using two's complement method two's complement two's complement method so how do i do that how do i find uh, how do i represent n using two's complement that method is quite simple what i have to do is first represent using one's complement and add one to it so that i would get the final answer so i repeat the step find one's complement so let me write the same thing find one's complement how do i write the one's complement it is quite simple i said it already so wherever a zero is there replace those zeros with ones and wherever i find ones replace those ones with zeros so that itself is ones complement so i'm representing n using ones complement uh, first digit is zero so now represent let me represent that digit with one then i have one i would represent that with zero then i have got three zeros let me represent those with three ones so let me write the same thing with three ones then i have one represent that with zero then i have zero represent that with one and lastly i have one i would represent that with zero so this is one's complement of n i'm actually looking for two's complement that is why i found one's complement first then i add one to it so let me write add one to it so that i would get my final answer as two's complement so what is going to happen zero plus one is one and rest of the digits remain as they are this is one this is zero then i have got three ones they would rep they would remain as they are then i have zero then i have one so whatever i have got now this this is going to be the two's complement of n so this is going to be let me write this two's complement so this is two's complement of n so what i have to do now is i'll consider n and i would add that with n so that i would get the final let me write the same thing perform m minus n so what is m so let me write m as it is so i'll just go up and check m is one one zero one zero double one zero same thing one one zero then i have got one zero double one zero so is this correct so let me go up and check one one zero one zero double one zero yes that is correct then what i do is i consider two's complement of minus n representation two's complement is here here is the two's complement of minus n so let, let me write that this is one then i have zero then i have got three ones so let me write those three ones as they are then zero one and one so to this i have to add 
because I considered m as it is, then I have represented minus n using uh, two's representation. So what I do is I'll just add the add those things. Zero plus one is one. So let me write one over here. Then I have got one plus one. One plus one is two in decimal. And if I represent that using binary, it would be one zero. So how do I write one zero? I represent zero over here and one as the carry. So this is how I add them. So again, I have got one plus zero is one and plus one. It is two. How do I represent two? One zero. Zero I would write here and one as the carry. So this is the method. Then I have got zero plus one. That is one plus one. That is two. So how do I represent two? Zero over here with a carry one. So that is how I am going to represent. Then I have got one plus one. That is two. Two plus one. That is three. So how do I represent three uh, in decimal? That is in binary. It's going to be one and one. So let me write one over here and one as the carry. So now I have got zero plus one. That is one. One plus one. That is two. So I would write zero with a carry one. Next I have got one plus zero one. Plus one that is two, so I'm going to represent that zero with a carry one. Lastly, one plus one is two, two plus one is three, so I would represent one over here and one as the carry. So one, this one is going to be the carry. So what I have to do with this carry? So I have to discard whatever the carry I have got. So discarding that. Whatever I am left with, this is going to be the final answer. And what if there is no carry? So that we shall consider it in the next example. If there is no carry, I have to take two's complement of the final answer. So such cases we shall see it in the next video. So in this video lecture, what we have done, we have considered finding subtraction using two's complement method. Here we had got. Uh, uh, m and n. The task is to perform m minus n. So how do I do that? So I'll consider minus n. I would represent that using two's complement. So what is two's complement? First find one's complement, then add one to it, so that I would get two's complement. So once I get the two's complement of the second number, so consider the first number as it is m minus n. So I would consider the two's complement which I had uh, found it just now. So add these two things and if there is a carry, discard that carry. And whatever I'm left with, this is going to be the final answer of m minus n. And if there is no carry, as I said, I have to take uh, two's complement of the final answer and such things I shall consider it in the next video lecture. And if there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts. Thank you so much for watching.